What's up everyone? This is Mike Gross at youtube.com slash rockinguitarlessons1 or you can catch me at my website at rockinguitarlessons.com coming in June of 2012. Um, I did a, a lesson, uh, my previous lesson was on how to do what's called standard tuning or A440. Um, a lot of bands, a lot of guitar players are doing alternate tunings. It's been going on forever since guitar has been invented for many reasons. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I'm going to show you how to tune your guitar flat. Flat means, think of a tire in a car. If it goes flat, it's going lower, not higher, right? So we're going to take our pitch and drop it a half step flat. Um, so each, I'm going to show you on my guitar tuner, like I did last time. And down the road, I will show you some tricks as to how to do this some other ways. So, if you've watched how to tune in the first video I did, You've already got the concept, and you know it's E A D G B E, right? So, if we're tuning flat, this is my tuner. And if you go to the, your local store and buy a guitar tuner, it's the same concept. They have a needle there, um, and then they have the note names on the top, and that's what we're going to be using. Is that, and it's using the pitch on it. So you have to be able to hear the pitch, okay? The way I'm showing you, but the needle is actually, if you're struggling, the needle will do the work for you. You just got to tune the tune, the turn the tuning keys. That's hard to say. Turn the tuning keys. Turn the tuning keys. I did it. So, you know, E is what we're normally at. So if we're going to tune our guitar flat, we need to go to, on this tuner, it says D, and that little pound tic-tac-toe symbol means sharp. Okay, some tuners will have it as an E flat. A flat is like a lowercase b. They're the same thing. E flat, D sharp. So we're using the the le the musical alphabet letter right before E is a half step. So that's what we need to tune it to. And I'm going to hit the pitch on this. Okay. Hopefully you can hear that in there. And then I've got to go flat here. Got it. You, you may have to work with this, guys. Uh, it takes a while. As your ear sharpens, this stuff gets easy. You won't even need a tuner. Okay, but I'm not knocking tuners because they have a, a, a time and a place, man. Recording studio is one of them. But if you got a bunch of people jamming, you know, hey, are you tuned? If everyone thinks they're tuned and everyone thinks they're kind of close, and then they all play, and you, you just have this big wall of noise, not a, not a nice noise. So, okay, so we did E. Our next string is A, right? Oops. I'm going to highlight the A on my tuner. There it is. We need it to go, what? A half step flat, right? So, G sharp is a half step flat from A. All right? Some tuners may have A flat, the little lowercase b. So let's sound this one, and I'm going to be turning this lower or flat. Oops, I got to sound it, huh? Okay, so the next one is the D. If we're tuning a half step down, that's got to change. Let me show you the D first on my tuner. I highlighted D. We're going to go to C sharp. There it is. I highlighted that. We're going to hit, oops, I was trying to focus there. Okay, so let's hit the pitch on that. So we did E, A, and D. We flatted all those. Our next string is our G. So let me highlight the G on here. See that? Okay, and once again, we're not using the needle. We're using the actual letter, and we're going to hit... Where, on my tuner, it says sound, and then whatever note, it says sound G. Well, we don't want to sound the G, because we're tuning flat. So what comes before G? Boom, right there. You got it. F sharp. Okay? So let's, let's hit the sound on that. Got 
Got it. These are equivalent to like old school in the sense that they have what's called pitch pipes and you blew through these pipes. You know, it's like about that big, like a matchbook, a little bit bigger. You blow through each one and then you got to tune it and match it with it. They're kind of cool. I mean, it's really good ear training more than anything to do it that way, but and that's what we're doing here. All right, so we've, we've went through that one. We did string six, five, four, and three. We're going to go to string two, which as we know is the B, all right? So I highlighted B and we need to go flat from there. Flat from B is going to be called A sharp. Okay, your tuner may have it as a B flat. It's okay, it's the same note. All right, so let's hit the sound. And then, that one's good. We go back to E. Remember string six and string one are both E's, right? Um, so we need, there's the, the E I highlighted, but we need to go lower by a half step, so that's gonna go Oops, I missed it there. To D sharp. And that's the same same way we started out on this tuning. Sound. The reason I'm kind of pulling the headstock in when I'm tuning it is I want you to see visually how far a half step, because you can approximate some of the stuff to at least know you're close. If you're tuning a half step, you don't need to be turning this thing a full turn. You're, you've passed the note. So a little bit over a quarter of a turn, I'd, I'd say maybe a third um, of, of a turn maybe, will get you close when you're doing half step tuning. And I'm, like I said, that's just approximate. You can't just go on each one and say, it's, it's still gonna be out. It gets you in the ballpark and it gets you close. Okay, that's why I wanted you to see the headstock there. So. We have standard tuning, done deal. You guys know how to do it. We, now we have tuning flat done. So there's two different methods you got. If you're looking on tab sites or certain songs, you may, if you don't pay attention to the tuning, you may be playing the progression right and you're trying to play along with this band or whatever and it'll sound horribly off. And you're thinking, this person tabbed this completely wrong. This is nuts. That's not the case, well, it could be. Actually, a lot of times that is too, but um, it could be that you're not tuned with them. So, so the first thing you want to check out if you're looking at some music is find out how the guitar is tuned, whether it's a half step flat, whether it's standard tuning. Those are the two we've covered so far. Um, there's a whole step down. We can go a step and a half down. Then we get into what's called uh, like a drop D tune and drop C sharp, drop C, drop B, drop A. So there's several tunings out there to confuse the heck out of you guys. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reel you guys in because if you understand this and you know what it's supposed to be, it basically will do the work for you. Plus you're training your ear while you're at it. And if you get frustrated, you got the needle and you can use the needle. All right, you guys, I'm Mike Gross. You're on my channel, youtube.com slash lessons one or you may be on my website channel seeing this. Who knows? And that's rockinguitarlessons.com, R-O-C-K-I-N. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, Head on over and subscribe, man. It only takes a second, and you'll have all my updates on what's coming. There's constantly new uploads and new lessons for you guys at no charge.